Before the video begins, if you want to see how all of the math on this works, I recommend you watch the video from Marco Style. I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description. He's one of, if not the best, Division 2 content creators in the world. Now, I don't want to get into all of the math because I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be. If you're super curious on the math of all of this, check out his video. It's the best place to learn about this. I want to talk about optimizing getting these stats. So let's get into it. Today, I want to talk about how to get the highest DPS, the highest damage humanly possible in the Division 2. Now, this math doesn't change. I don't care if you're on World Tier 1 or World Tier 5. If you have brand gear or set gear, the math on it is always going to be the same. The ways you get the stats for it is going to be different. You can stack things like Elite Damage and hit just as hard as someone stacking Critical Hit Damage. It's going to be the sum of all parts that is going to matter. Getting more damage is always going to be a bonus. If you're getting elite damage, crit damage, it's always going to be a bonus. But getting this number as high as possible is key. But before any of that, before any of that starts, we need to talk about the weapon. On almost all weapons in the game, talents don't matter. Now that's hyperbole. Talents uh, you know, they obviously matter, but the king of damage is this base damage right here. The damage per bullet is the absolute king to your DPS because when this number goes up, all of these talents and perks are impacted. The 15% elite damage here, this is getting stronger. This is getting stronger. This weapon damage for armor depleted is getting stronger. Every stat in the game is impacted by this base damage. And so if you compare this AKM with 13,500 damage to this AKM with 14,800 damage, this gun is going to win in almost every situation ever made. Now, if you had absolutely terrible, terrible perks here, there is a chance that this one wins. For example, uh, if we look at uh, this weapon here, with the strained perk okay the damage is lower but with this strained perk and built properly we're getting more critical hit damage for every five percent of your armor depleted this one could win in dps absolutely but that's just because of the math that's because this might give me so much critical hit damage that it's trumping my other build it does not necessarily mean this weapon is better this weapon, if it had strained, would be better because that base damage is higher to start. This is the key. This is the number you care about. This one trumps every other stat in the game. I've driven that home. Now let's take a look. I'm going to make sure that I'm using the right ones. We're going to do two magazines of each weapon just to give you an idea. We're going to shoot all in the body to focus on this to make sure I don't miss any shots. Let's go. Okay, so we're in that, that 480,000 damage range, pretty good. The reason I want to do two magazines is if we get unlucky with critical hits and things like that, we're in that 428,000 range, right? Now let's switch to our higher damage one. This one is 1,300 damage higher. So we ended at that 430 mark. Let's try this again. Okay. We're killing these targets faster as well. We're actually leaving bullets. I actually have eight bullets left in the magazine here. We're going to reload. We'll just do this. Okay, we're at 580,000 damage. 580,000 damage per second more. Guys, this only has a difference of 1,300 damage on here. This is insanity. This is absolutely insanity that you're getting 100,000 damage per second more because of the base damage the rolls aren't here on here aren't amazing this isn't changing anything all of my gear is the same but the impact of this base damage is much higher than you might think now the next part of the equation is rpm so i'm going to switch to another weapon that i have i've got a very very nicely rolled assault rifle here this is a p416 with a 14,000 damage and a 750 rpm now, if we look at this weapon, 
this weapon is going to be, uh, you know, competing, if not beating, in DPS. Let's start again. Ready? Go. You seen that damage? 750,000? 650,000? Guys, we are jumping up in that damage once again. Because this is the other part of the puzzle. The RPM. So if you're looking at two weapons, you're going to have to do some math on it. But typically, RPM is going to have a ton of value as well. You're putting more bullets into the enemy per second than the other one. There is a breakoff point where damage is going to be more impactful, but typically it's the mixture of the two that is going to matter the most, the absolute most. So you need to look at this as well. You need to see what the RPM is of the weapon because there might be a case, for example, where you have something like this LMG that's doing 21,000 damage at 550 RPM, right? That's 7,000 damage more. So let's take a look at that. Let's switch to this LMG here really quickly. Let's do the same thing. We'll do base body shot damage. Right? Okay. Not the best. I'm missing some shots here. Not the most stable. We're missing some shots. We're at the 550 range. But I think this is a good test. I'm missing some shots. But we're still, you know, in that damage range. I think this really showcases, though, that base damage is going to have a big impact and the RPM is going to have a big impact, right? You can compete with lower damage and higher RPM or higher damage and lower RPM, but it's a mixture of the two that starts everything. It's what sets you apart in your build more than anything else. Then you add in the stats. So now that we've drilled home that RPM and base damage are going to be the most valuable, we need to talk about the stuff that is really padding out this equation. You know, elite damage, critical hit damage, headshot damage, and things like that, right? If we look at our stat sheet here, Weapon damage is, you know, this, it's the start of the formula, right? But there's crit chance, crit damage, headshot damage, even, even your reload speed. Your weapon damage bonus is here. If you go further down, we've got damage to elites. We need to talk about these stats and what is the most valuable for you and your build. What stat on here is going to make you the absolute strongest humanly possible? So as I've said before, I mean, I've, I've drilled this home a whole, a whole bunch. Weapon damage is key. So when you're looking at all of these stats, if you can get all weapon damage as well as the weapon damage in the weapon you're using, if you're using LMGs, you'd want LMG damage. If you'd want SMGs, you would want SMG damage. But the base damage is always going to be the best because they make the other damage numbers better. If my base damage is higher, crit chance is better. Headshot damage is better. Damage to elite is better. So this one is the most important stat in the game to get on your gear. For example, I am using an assault rifle in this build. So I've got assault rifle damage on my gloves here. If you look at my chest piece, I've got assault rifle damage on my chest piece. I've got critical hit damage here, but this value is drastically more valuable than the crit damage. If we're looking at set bonuses, this 10% is way more valuable than this 7% crit damage, right? So you need to look at those values right uh you know right away as your main main damage numbers you want to get uh the base weapon damage up now the next part of this puzzle in my opinion is damage to elites i think that in the harder difficulties damage to elites trumps pretty much every other damage type because every single enemy that's an elite is always going to take more damage here it doesn't matter if it's a headshot it doesn't matter if it's a critical hit as long as you're hitting the enemy, you're doing more damage. So stacking damage to elites brings more value, once again, to all the other damage-boosting stats. So I think it goes weapon damage and then damage to elites. Now the reason I say that is because even though critical hit damage and headshot damage are obviously fantastic stats, they don't always apply. The lower your crit chance, the less often this critical hit damage comes into play. The less accurate you are with the weapon, the less headshots you're going to hit, right? And so while these are obvious boosts to your damage, they're not always applying. This also means that the more critical hit chance you have, the more valuable crit damage becomes. In a lot of games, the math on it is a 10 to 1 ratio. 
if you've got 10% critical hit chance, you'd want a 100% critical hit damage. The issue in the division is it's very hard to stack critical hit damage compared to critical hit chance. It's much, much easier to get, you know, maxed out critical hit chance than it is to get two or 300% critical hit damage. It's just not going to happen in almost any build, any combination of mods. It's, it's, it's impossible. It's way easier to get this crit chance. And so I think that this crit damage is going to be valuable a lot of the time because with the proper mods, you can easily, easily hit 40 to 50% critical hit chance on a build. But this crit damage, again, half of the time isn't going to apply. On this build, half of the time, this damage is a wasted stat. And so I would rather you see it in damage to elites or base weapon damage if possible. Same thing goes for headshot damage. If you're looking at some enemies, this value is going to be much, much less. If you're looking at a tank where you're shooting him in the, uh, in the ammo clip so it breaks off his ammo clip and he has to reload, you're not getting this value. If you're shooting a weak point, you're not getting this value. If the enemy is, is, is running across the screen and you're having trouble hitting the head, you're not getting this value. So while headshot damage is amazing and important, again, it is situational and there's times when it doesn't apply. So to summarize very quickly, weapon damage first, then damage to elites, then you can focus on these other stats. But in my opinion, that is the order you should focus on. So what is a way we can get some of this pretty easily? One of the ways to get damage to elites is with the hard hitting perk. There's also a very large damage to elite rules that can come on helmets, one of the biggest in the game. So in my opinion, on the helmets, best in slot would be damage to elites here. Now, if you're doing a crit build, some of these things might change, but I would focus on getting damage to elites. As for set gear, you might want to go into something like Wyvern Wear or Douglas and Harding because you can get some free crit damage and a huge boost to crit chance. But there are other options on the table. If you're looking at your gloves, you're going to want a weapon damage attribute on your gloves. This is one of the most important things in the game because this is one of the highest rolls you can get in the game. Now, it's really hard to advise best in slot for everyone. This Fenris chest piece is best in slot for me, hands down. It's got assault rifle damage, we've got some crit stuff, we've got berserk that I can use, right? This chest piece might not be best in slot for you. And so you're going to have to adjust these things, but these are the stats you want. The base damage, the crit damage, I've got Berserk, that works with me, right? This is guaranteed, but another one is hard hitting. Like, this perk is, is so good. If you can get it, it's going to be one of the most valuable perks on your armor. 15%, another 15%, I'm at 30%. I could swap out my shin pads here, get another 15%. We've got 45% extra damage to elites. Every single bullet that hits that elite is hitting 45% harder on three pieces. So best in slot for you might change, but you have to just kind of think to yourself, I've got a lot of crit chance. So in this case, crit damage on this holster is more valuable. Crit chance, or sorry, crit damage on my talent is probably more valuable than for other people that maybe don't have as much crit chance, right? I could swap things up. I could get headshot damage, right? I could, I could look at this one here. I could build for more crit chance, but I've got so much already. This probably isn't as valuable, right? If I use this, I can jump up to almost 60% crit chance, but is that more valuable? Is that better DPS? It's going to depend on your build. The sum of all parts is going to be the most important. Get these numbers up as high as you can and you're going to win. But base damage, base damage is going to be what makes all of those more valuable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.